Okay, this is the GUI for the track IR. I'm going to center it. So F12, if you look at where you think the middle of your screen is, for me, which is there, and then center, that's now where it thinks the center, and I can move my head left and right and up and down, and I can slide my head. You can see the guy over there on the right sliding, and I can slide to the left. This is my Armour 2 profile I've got set up. So I've got the Track Clip Pro. Uh, so, and I've created a profile for Armour 2, which I've allocated to Armour 2 and Armour 3. And you can see down the bottom here, uh, F12 centers it, F9 pauses it, so you can actually turn it off. And that's pretty much the GUI. On the profile, I've got this profile off Dyslexi, who was a guy who was pushing the product. Uh, and I've used his profile as my starting profile. I don't know if I've done it right, but uh, it seems to work quite well, and it's probably saved me a fair bit of stuffing around. And you can see up in the top right here, the three lights that are attached to the side of my headset. That's what the camera is seeing. So I've pretty much got it right in terms of where I've positioned the camera on my monitor. Maybe it could be pointing down a bit, but it doesn't functionally go anywhere else. And that's the GUI. I'd, when I first loaded it, it was like that. And I couldn't for the life of me find the advanced settings, but it's just there, like a noob. You can also put it in the center of the screen to help find where exactly the middle of your screen is. Just there. So when I'm sitting here, comfortable in my chair. Okay, and then center. You can zoom. Oh, I've got zoom in turned off. Because for my Armour 2 profile, I didn't use the zoom. And the beauty of this is it was the 1.75 million stretch goal for StarCraft. A uh, Star Citizen, StarCraft, Jesus Christ. For Star Citizen. So armor and Star Citizen is the reason I forked out the cash. Cold hard cash. Slide, slide, slide. And that is the track IR GUI. Holy crap balls. And there we have how you start. Going to center this, the magic center button. Alrighty. The beauty of this is I've got the crosshairs, which shows where my rifle's pointing, and my head, which I'm now turning. notice, okay, no head effect when I'm in fully scope mode, so it's purely mouse. But I think if I switch to, yeah, so iron sights, you can still look over the top and look around above your iron sights, but then you also forget where you're looking. Let's just go to third person and have a quick look. Surgeon is desperate to die. Alright. Doesn't bother anyone here. Okay. So that's where I'm pointing. That's where I'm looking. Just by turning my head. The 
issue is you get scared. Well, not really scared, but when you get encounter somebody, if you don't use the mouse to recenter the screen, you now your head, turn your head to recenter with the line up. You end up having your gun pointing that way and your head pointing that way. Covering fire! And you're not shooting to the left. Which is not where I want to shoot. I want to shoot over there. Let's try a vehicle. The other fabulous button is F12, which you can get completely disoriented. Right, where the hell's my picking? Just press F12. Resenters. The other one is if you completely got the shit with it, is F9, which turns it off. So now I don't have it anymore. So turning my head, nothing's happening. Moving the mouse, turn it back on, looking around with my head, which is so cool. So there you go, brief introduction to track by arm. 